If you have seen any of my other videos, you've heard me talk about a parachute for when your bustle breaks in your wedding dress. And notice I said when your bustle breaks. Not that I wanna wish your bustle breaking on you, but I wanna teach all of you how to make a small mind shift to be prepared for when your bustle breaks or if it breaks. Obviously, it most likely will not, um, but if it does, I wanna teach you some little hacks that I have that are so simple and affordable. So be sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you some pro tips and bonus features that are gonna be very educational for you. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to place a parachute in your side seams. Your side seam, for those of you who are unfamiliar with this term, it's this line that runs through and there is a seam allowance. There's another vocabulary word for you. There's a seam allowance in your side seam that gives you a flap. I want you to use a safety pin and have it built in as a parachute in your side seams. Now, many of you are gonna wonder well, how many safety pins should I put into my side seam? And I want you to put two safety pins for every bustle point that you have. So some of you have some pretty involved bustles because of choice or style or whatever the case may be. Um, many of you will have three to five bustle points and so you're gonna want six to 10 safety pins and I would divide them out. I would put half of them on this side and half of them on the other side. Now, let me show you how simple this will be. If your bustle breaks, you want to make sure that the people that you plan to go to for help, whether it's your wedding planner or your mom, or your sisters or friends, um, make sure that they know that these are there. I um, got married over 10 years ago and my bustle broke on my wedding day, but I had my parachute ready to go. It was already in my side seams. No one had to leave the dance floor and scramble to go find my bag of um, emergency kit. It was already built into my dress. And um, if my bustle broke on the dance floor with a men's shoe stepping on the side of my uh, bustle. And your bustle is always gonna be a little bit longer on the side seams than it will be on the front. Obviously your front will be hemmed beautifully. Your bustle will be up off of the ground or touching the ground slightly, whichever aesthetic you are um, aiming for. And those decisions get made with your seamstress and your fittings but you can still have your bustle break. These are the two reasons that you're going to break your bustle. Number one, if the right amount of pressure hits it in just a certain way, um, if it gets stepped on by a, a men's shoe or a woman's shoe, just something with too much pressure, you can have somebody standing on the edge of your train and then you go to walk off and you break your bustle. You can sit down on your dress and create pressure in such a way that it'll break or weaken the bustle. Um, and then other times, the second main reason is your bustle is just not put up properly. I see a lot of that. The weight distribution from the train is not properly put up in the first place. And so all that pressure from the train not being completely on correctly can really cause pressure and it can break so much easier if it's not put up in the, in the right way from the beginning. So some easy pro tips that I can help you to avoid your bustle breaking. My bustle broke because we were on the dance floor, open bar, okay? Um, men's formal wear shoe, we were going to do the tango, and then I felt it. I felt my bustle break when we were just kind of being silly on the dance floor. Um, but then I also saw my friend Samantha Davies. We went to her wedding in Syracuse, New York. She had a destination wedding where it was like a two o'clock wedding, and we all went to like two in the morning in the hotel. She wore her dress the entire day, all the way into the wee hours, and her bustle never broke. And it's not like she was being prim and proper and holding back. She was totally enjoying her wedding dress and enjoying her day, and it never broke. So it's really just about having the idea um, that if it breaks, you have it all inclusive in your dress. You don't have to scramble and leave what you're doing, and you can just pin it up really quick. Um, if you're wanting to know how to pin it up, you're going to look for the bustle points in your bustle, you're gonna be able to see in the points where the bustle broke. You usually can see that pretty easily. If you can't, then I'm just gonna have you pull the, the fabric up onto itself and then pin it from the outside. That is the most basic way to do it. Obviously, if you're wanting some more advanced tips, you can pin it from the underside. It'll be much more pretty. But I, I am with, um, I advise 
that you realize time is money on your wedding day. And depending on the time of the day and the, depending on the time of the reception that your bustle breaks, if it breaks before the wedding even began, then I would spend more time um, having a plan with your bustle. But you shouldn't have your dress bustled before the wedding begins in the first place, to my knowledge, unless you have a good reason that you would do that. Usually you would not have it break before the wedding. Um, so I really believe that time is money and your wedding day is gonna fly by so fast. So my pro tip is to pin it up in a way that's beautiful and that's gonna last, it's not gonna damage it, but that saves you time and energy. Um, and then my final pro tip for this video is to encourage all of you, if your bustle breaks at your wedding day, just embrace it and just know that that is just part of your story. That's part of your experience. And you've already got a parachute. You're already educated because of this video. You know that you need a plan if it happens. You pin it up, you don't lose time, and it's just gonna be part of your fun experience of the quirky stories that you share that are all of your wedding day stories. So please make the mind shift to just embrace it, have fun, it may not look the same when it's pinned up as it did when you had it sewn. And yes, you spent the money to have it done, but it's your wedding day and things do go wrong, but just go for it and enjoy the day. You won't have another wedding day and your bustle breaking is not going to steal your fun. You're going to have a great day. So if you have any questions about your bustle or breaking or emergencies or just Q&A that you're trying to process, please comment below in this video because I love walking you through the alterations process, the say yes experience, um, and all the educational things that I can share with you and pro tips and guiding you through to your wedding day. Um, as always, I enjoy being with you guys and I will see you in the next video.